Hey guys, it's Kalisha here. Welcome back to another video. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm coming at you with a highly requested one, a hair tutorial. So I am so excited with how my hair came out. I tried this style for the first time. These are called finger coils. I'm gonna give you all a closer up view here. Um, I just have a little style up right now, but you can wear them at all kind of different styles. So if you all wanna make want me to make a another video of how I style my twists and my finger coils then I'll do that for you but if you follow me on social media I'm always always posting my hair my fro or my twists and everyone seems to love them and they're like oh my god make a hair tutorial make a hair video so I'm finally here doing it and I'm so excited um so if you all love my hair and you want to see how it came out just continue watching as you guys know from my previous video, I had a protective style in for over a month. This is my hair after taking down those twists. I did sort of style it by doing my edges this morning because I had a meeting via Zoom and wanted to look presentable. Come to find out, nobody even had to have their camera on, so I did all this for nothing, but I couldn't let it go to waste, so I decided to go ahead and start filming this video for you guys, so that explains the AirPod in my ear. I definitely think I could have worn this style a couple days if my roots weren't as dirty as they are. But now I'm going to go wash my hair and check in with you guys afterwards. So guys, I just finished washing my hair and I have this t-shirt on it. I always use a t-shirt to dry my hair because you never want to use a towel, a towel because it, um, makes it frizzy you know it increases the frizz and this shirt just dries it absorbs the water better so when I take this off it's gonna be poof so this is how my hair looks fresh out of the shower fresh out of you know just fresh wash freshly washed hair and this is how it looks so what I'm gonna show you all is how what I used in the shower. Um, I'm just gonna be looking a mess for a while. So what I like to use in the shower is Shea Moisture Intensive Hydrating Shampoo. Um, I use this about once a month. I do not shampoo my hair very often, but when I do, this is what I like to use. For my conditioner, this is what I have right now. It's just a scalp. Um, conditioner and this is how it looks but I usually have a better conditioner but this is all I have right now so this is what I'm using well this is what I used and right now what I'm about to do is oil my hair and I just like to use grapeseed oil I just love this it keeps my hair very hydrated throughout whatever style I'm about to use um, well whatever style I'm about to do on my hair and where um, for a couple weeks it just keeps it very hydrated and it's not heavy at all so this is what I like to use as my oil I like to just section off one side and just have this other side and as you can see my um, one side is way thicker than the other but we gonna make it work I always make it work so I'm just going to get a good bit of oil in the palm of my hand. And I do mean a good bit, generous amount. Rub it together. It's covered in oil. Oh, wrong side. And I like to really get my edges. Really want to focus it on the ends grab a little more y'all my hair is so thick and it uh, it eats oil I feel like so I'm um, gonna get in the middle real good and focus it like I said on the ends perfect and then just Straight in sometimes after you've had a protective style, of course, you're gonna get some shedding. But just let that hurt go. <laughs> let it go. And I straightened my hair back in February, so a lot of pieces are still kind of straight from that. 
so I won't be doing that again for a while you can kind of see some of the pieces so now I'm gonna take this scrunchie off and I'm gonna put this part up because it's pretty moisturized all right and then same thing on this side All right, so now my hair is moisturized pretty much throughout. Um, of course, I'll add oil as I go and um, as I do my style. So I will check in with you all when I'm halfway done to show you all how to do them. All right, so now we are getting into the styling. As you can see, she's using a spray bottle here, just saturating my hair with some water, leave-in conditioner, and oil. And now she's taking the Eco Style Gel and finger combing through my hair to detangle the section that she's about to get ready to twist. And she's really, you want, really want to take your time and do this, guys, to make sure that there are no kinks in the hair so that the twisting style goes a lot easier and it'll look flawless in the end. All right, so now she's about to start as closely to the root as she can and just start twisting. Um, whatever direction you want to twist, I would say twist away from your face. But she's doing this all the way down, y'all. As tightly as she can. My hair is pretty long, so it'll start to go off the screen in a minute. But you do continue the twist down as far as you can go. And when you're near to the end, you'll see in a moment, she's gonna take one of those silver pins and she's gonna put it right at the top of the twist. That way it continue to lay flat um, as I sleep over in the night. And she's gonna continue that same process throughout my head. Here we noticed how some of the twists she had just finished started to puff up right under the silver pins. As I mentioned earlier, the right side of my head is a lot thicker than the left. So we had to go back and retwist some of the twist. But all you have to do is leave the pin at the neck of it, retwist it as tight as you can. 
all the way down and then reapply the pen. Also, you can apply multiple pins throughout the length of the whole twist. That way it'll stay twisted all the way down as you do your whole head. I'm back guys and almost six hours later we have my look in the back I have them stretched which I'm about to do for the front and if you're wondering why I have these rods in it's because like I mentioned earlier I did get my hair silk pressed earlier this year and some pieces are still pretty straight so I like to just curl them with these rods so yeah um, as you can see just straight looking off um, this this side is a lot um, thicker they're only longer because I just we finished this side last and this side has already started to dry so I'm just gonna take some scrunchies and get this side and scratch it Just tie the scrunchies around. Uh oh. Okay. And then another one. Kind of pull it while you're doing this. And we'll also put one here to keep the rods out my face. Same thing on this side. I look real crazy, but this is the finished look. And I'm just gonna take a pretty large and long scarf. Just like this. Make sure all of it is tucked under. Uh oh, left a little piece out there. Just make sure it's tucked under. And just like that. And I'm just gonna go to sleep and I will check in with you all tomorrow. My hair should be completely dry in the morning. So I'll check back in then and do some cute styles with it. So see y'all in the morning. Good morning guys. So it is the next day. I'm up. I'm feeling good. Um, I did my eyebrows just for the sake of this video. Don't even focus on them. They cousins today and not really sisters. But we're going to get on into this video. I'm going to go ahead and take off my scarf. It did manage to stay on all night. Thank God. But let's see how it looks under here. Okay. So don't worry. We're going to bring all these back to life. We're going to bring it all back to life. Whew. So we're going to just start off by first taking off the scrunchies. The scrunchies were designed to um, scratch my hair. I didn't want them to, you know, as your hair dries, it shrinks. So the scrunchies on to prevent shrinkage, pretty much.
right, so now that I've gotten all the scrunchies out, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave these in for right now and I'm gonna just go ahead and start taking out the um, little silver clamps I have holding the very nape of the twist because I wanted them to stay flat and stay secure. So there's a ton of them in my head, so I'm just gonna speed this process up. Now that all the pins are out, I'm going to go ahead and take out the rod. You never want to um, just pull the rod out. You want to take it the way that, like that, like your hair is going. Alright, so now I am free of everything pretty much and you can already see that i have so much luster and shine to my hair and that goes back to that grapeseed oil that i use throughout the process but i'm loving it so far but because you can never have enough moisture i'm gonna go in with um this do grow oil and i'm gonna just put some in my hand not a whole lot, but enough. Then we're just gonna lather it and I'm gonna just kind of run my fingers through, definitely focusing on the ends. Just a such. It smells good. And then I'm gonna take this Argan Oil Leave In Conditioner. I'm just gonna spritz my hair really well with this. And this stuff smells so good. All right. All right. So without styling or anything, this is pretty much how it looks. And I love it. As you all can see, again, this side is a lot fuller in nature than this side anyway. So it just always naturally looks thicker on this side. But that's just how it is. That's just my grade of hair. But um, now I'm just going to go in and do something with these <laughs> edges, baby. Because they look a mess. So let's see. All right, so I'm just gonna take an edge brush and I don't really care for this edge control but it gets the job done it's the um, the name is scratched off but it's the even New York edge tamer and I'm gonna go ahead and just really slick these edges down I am so excited with how my hair turned out. I decided to go with this half up, half down look. And it really shows me how I'd look if I actually decided to lock my hair. Let me know what you all think down in the comment section. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn on your notifications. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.